Topaz Labs 40AI at uh, version 3.1.2 has got some really good stuff going on. The autopilot has changed completely and it's constantly making selections or uh, recommendations for you to put in what order and what to do. Well, I still like to put everything in order the way I like to do things, but the cool thing is, is you can also save that now as a preset. So we'll dive into that. We'll dive into some a uh, little more masking than usual. And I have three examples to show you a couple of restorations in a modern picture. And I'm going to do something that most people don't. And I'm going to use the lighting thing. It's really cool on this picture. So stick around. Check it out. Okay, off we go here. As you can see down here, it's already given me some recommendations and suggestions of what I should be doing. Um, I'm going to do things the way I like to do it here. I want to denoise this picture. And as you can see, this thing's really noisy, but it, Topaz Labs comes to the rescue with their denoise and makes it look brilliant. So let's do denoise first. We'll let it do its thing. I always like to put it in the middle in strong. And let's check it out. It just cleans it up brilliantly. Here, let's zoom in. We got a lot of JPEG compression and stuff going on. Look at that. Before, after. Just cleans it up brilliantly. Now, let's zoom out. Next thing I want to do is I want to do some face recovery on this soldier. So let's hit that. It finds there's only one face and it does it for us. We'll zoom in again. Scroll down. And it does look like it's done another amazing job. Before, after, before, after. Figures things out. It's a great job. Now, the next thing I want to do is I just want to start, uh, sharpen everything up for us here. So let's go to sharpen and let's see what it does. Standard. I'm going to go with lens blur, I think. Everything else is cool, but it doesn't look as good as lens blur. Great stuff. Now, next thing I'd like to do is I want to make a few things on the truck a little more out there, a little more sharp than what it normally would be. So let's do that. Let's go to add enhancements. We'll sharpen again. Go to edit selection and we'll go to none. Now, I'm going to zoom in a bit. What I'd like to do is just take things that stand out on the truck and make them a little bit more visible. So let's make our brush approximately the right size. And we'll just go over a few things. A few lines and things that could use a bit of enhancement. Let's go back here. This line here. Possibly the wheel or the tire. Let's see what it does there. These lines here. And we'll go back to controls and see what it does. Let's go to lens blur, motion blur, strong. Once again, I'm digging the lens blur. Let's zoom out. And now we got things looking really good. I'm digging it. Check this out. That's brilliant. I'm loving it. All right, in this second picture here, you can see, man, this is really noisy, but it's a great wedding photo from the 50s. I want to do a couple things to it. First, let's denoise it, as usual. Denoise. Let's put it on strong. Now, let's zoom out just a bit here. Let's see what it's done. And like magic, it just cleans it up. Just cleans it up unbelievably. So let's try normal for a second here. In this instance, I think normal might be better. Yeah, I think that's better. But once again, you know, 
It's cleaned it up brilliantly. Now the second thing I want to do, let's do a little bit of face recovery and let's see what it does. It's brought out some nice features in there. Now I don't want to sharpen up the rest of the picture. I mean, the things like the flowers here and the buttons and the gloves are just brilliant. But what I'd like to do is maybe bring back some of this text back here. I think this says Sunday and we got cadets. So what we'll do is we'll go to enhancements and we'll go preserve text. Now go to edit section and none. Grab our brush, make it a little bit bigger here. And let's just go over a couple of parts here just to see what we can bring back to see if it actually says that. Go back to controls and bam, you can see it says it's cadets, pioneers, Saturday. This is brilliant. I love this. This is a good feature. I'm not sure how many people use it, but preserving text is great. Now, the last thing I want to do in here is bring out just a bit of the hair on each person. So what we'll do is we'll go to enhancements and we'll do a little bit of lighting. Now let's go to edit selection, none. Now we'll grab our brush. Let's zoom in, move it over. Now let's just go with our brush and just kind of paint over the areas we want to adjust just to bring out their hair just a little bit more. Some down here, through here. Hit your X key and kind of remove it. If you got a bit sloppy like I did, you can see that where the feathering is going, it's looking good over here. Hit X again. Let's do the groom's hair. Kind of goes up there a bit. Now let's hit the X key. Let's kind of make it a little bit better here and a little bit here. Reduce the brush, X, and make it a little bit better there. All right, so let's go back to controls. Now let's check before, after. Before, after, bringing out their hair just a little bit more. Let's zoom out completely here. And what a great pick. I love this. Like I said before, none of the edges and things on the lace or the tiara or the everything. It just looks great. Topaz Labs comes to the rescue again. All right. Now in this last picture here, more modern picture. It was a selfie done by my daughter. You can tell it's a bit noisy, and maybe the camera moved a bit. There's a bit of lens blur going on here, or motion blur. So what we'll first we'll do, let's denoise it again. And let's we'll see how that works. Not bad. I'm going to make it strong, see what it does. Yeah, it's a much better result on her shirt and in the wall back here. Now, the next thing I want to do, of course, face recovery. So let's do that. Once it's done its thing, we'll hit the X. And let's see how things worked out. That's not bad. I like that. I'm not even going to mess with the settings. Before. After. Before. After. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to sharpen her hair a bit here. Let's bring that out a bit. So let's go to sharpen the subject. We'll go to edit selection and none. We'll make our brush size a little bit bigger. And once again, let's just paint over what we want to paint. And you can see the feather the way it does things here. So let's go here. Now what I like to do so let's make my brush a little bit smaller. Let's see if we can get these little parts here. We'll go over here and get these parts. All right.
right, we got our hair going on here. You can see where the feathering is. And of course, hit your X key. Now, don't forget that you got the option of zooming in, finding the exact section you want to work on, hit your X key, reduce your brush, and get it. Hit your X key, and let's get it exactly right. You can see where the feathering is. Once you let go of the brush, anything that you don't want in there, whoops, X key, make it a little bit more, X key again, hold your space bar so you can move the picture around, and there's no hair here, so let's just fix that, I like how the feathering is going. Yeah, that looks good. We'll zoom out here. All right, now let's finish painting here. We'll be painting up here. Okay, so let's go back to the controls. And it's done enhancing. Before. After. Before. After. Not much of a change there. So what you can do, don't forget your options, is change it to lens blur. Ah, that changed something. Let's go to strong, motion blur, motion blur. Now, look at the strands there. And on the side, it brought them out just a bit more how I want it. Now, the last thing a lot of people don't use in Topaz Labs is lighting like I did in the last uh, example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the lighting on her face. She's a, in a bit of a shadow. So let's go adjust all lighting. Edit selection. None. So we can paint. And let's just grab her whole face. Her chin. Now we'll just color in the rest, which is fine. All right. You can see where the feathering is. Hit your X key. That's removed just a bit. We're along her face. You can see where the feathering is. Now let's go back to controls. And you can see it did it a lot. So let's back it off to zero, minus 25. And you can see where your selection is. So maybe you might want to go back, like I do here, and X key. Let's grab a little more of her chin. And over here, go back to controls. All right, now, let's bring it up slowly. Let's bring it up to maybe minus 14. Bring it up minus 8, minus 3. Now we're getting somewhere. Check that out. I think I'm going to bring it up to about 5 or 6. Before, after. Before, after she's no longer in the shadow and it kind of matches all the other lighting going on in the whole thing. So we did some denoise face recovery, sharpened, adjust a little bit of the lighting. Now, if I've got a lot of these pictures to do, let's go down here to save edits as a new preset. We'll go in here. I'm just going to call it D F S A for denoise face recovery, sharpen and adjust lighting and hit save. So the next time I have a picture exactly kind of like this or a picture in series, I've got a preset that'll save me time. Things are looking good. Topaz Labs 4OAI is kicking butt. Well, as you can see, Topaz Labs 4OAI does an excellent job by recommending things and then having you put it in the order that you want. Don't forget to use your options of masking. Masking is getting better and better. I'll probably do a video on masking coming up because we have three different brushes that we can use. If this video helped you at all in any way, please like and subscribe. I've said it before and I'll say it again. How do you not have this tool in your Photoshop toolkit? It's, I think it's indispensable on what you can do to clean out pictures and get them ready for more work in Photoshop, if that's what you'd like to do. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.